Dysplastic pain or pain that's associated with changes in the nervous system is often missed or incorrectly categorized as psychosomatic pain because it's difficult to diagnose. Brain scans can detect widespread increased brain activity, but they're only done in the research setting. Thankfully, we can test for neuroplastic pain in other ways. Number one, because neuroplastic pain is associated with decreased tactile acuity or how well you feel things, we can test for tactile acuity in several ways, including two-point discrimination, or sharp dull testing. Number two, because neuroplastic pain is associated with widespread lower pressure pain thresholds, we can test this using a pressure algometer like this one. Number three, because neuroplastic pain is associated with a unique set of signs and symptoms, you can pretty accurately evaluate if your pain is neuroplastic or not by using a validated questionnaire. These questionnaires are quick, easy to use, and fairly reliable. There are several questionnaires available, but my favorite is the central sensitivity inventory. You can actually find out right now if you have neuroplastic pain by taking the free self-assessment I have in my bio links. So head there now and let me know what you got on the self-assessment.